right. Good afternoon, everybody. Um, I'm Latrakius. This is Jamel, Dan, Emmanuel, and Marilyn. And our project is um, enabling neural networks for smart um, IoT edge sensor nodes. So um, to start off, edge nodes act as a bridge between an end device and a network, providing information from the end device to the network, and then providing functionality from the network back to the end device. Um, with regards to um, edge nodes, uh, edge sensor nodes, um, they take an input in the form of speech commands and touchscreen gesture-based <coughs> commands, and then send it to the uh, cloud-based environment where it's processed and analyzed, and the respective response or action is then sent back to the um, edge sensor node. The issues with this, however, reside in the fact that there's network congestion, privacy concerns as it's run on a cloud-based environment, um, increased power consumption, in addition to um, overall uh, just different issues that reside within it. Um, we decided to, to fix a lot of these issues by um, putting machine learning based capabilities in the form of a neural network in order to bring a lot of these um, processing and analytics of the information down onto the edge sensor node to again remedy these different issues. The reason why this is a difficult technical solution is due to the low capacity of the microcontrollers. Neural networks are typically too large to store on small devices which is why it's typically used on servers. So to get the neural network to fit, we came up with a variety of solutions. First, my teammates and I, we research and architecture a neural network that can be placed on small devices. We will further optimize this to reduce memory and computational usage. The next step will be actually training the neural network using a variety of data sets using PyTorch. We will then convert the neural network from PyTorch to C to deploy it. This will enable the neural network to detect uh, words and gestures. Okay. So our application will be useful for any applications desiring any kind of data classification on a low-powered microcontroller. Going forward, our team is going to be d building three neural networks that will fit on the MSP432. Our first neural network will be able to understand hidden, handwritten digits letters and symbols while using the TI cap touch. Our second neural network will be able to understand simple voice commands uh, in the Spanish language such as lights on, lights off. And for our final neural network, we will be able to detect, it will be able to detect car crashes, gunshots, and glass breaking. Um, that's the end of our presentation. If there's any questions, I'd like to open the floor. So what is the average latency if you versus you doing it locally on the edge device versus just going to the cloud to um, we don't have exact figures on that but I assume that well currently I can give you exact figure but there would be latency for sure <laughs> going and it would um, okay. usually kind of be due to the fact that just depending on the amount of processes running mm -hmm. and just amount of information you're providing to it um, it's just as a po and, it's, and as well as like it's getting to like a cloud environment, so that's just an extra step where the latency will come will kind of develop, as opposed to it just kind of going from point A to point B, is kind of making like multiple stops. No, I understand. I guess the, the reason I'm asking is, it's good to measure it, so at the end you can compare it to and see like mm -hmm. in the actual practical application of the neural network, it does actually make a difference yes, at, the, at the end of the day. Yes, sir. So you could be doing a lot of work to put it in the edge versus to just save yourself like one millisecond. It might not matter at the end. But Fair enough. Enough. another good, good use of it is ignoring just the latency. You could be able to use our microcontroller offline. True. So. Any other questions? So then, let's thank the team.